Amy's in the pool with her friend and they're singing. She's too cute. So I'm out here in the evening, early evening. It's like, well, I don't know, it's about seven o'clock. And I'm just kind of enjoying the silence and the sound of the animals and the occasional truck. <laughs> uh, and I'm looking at my tomatoes and I'm seeing some areas that look like possible hornworm damage. I've never seen a hornworm on any tomatoes ever. Uh, was hoping I wouldn't, but just from what I'm seeing on other videos, this looks like this might be it. And I'm trying to find this hornworm and I've looked all over my tomatoes and I can't seem to find any, but look. You see how this is just kind of bitten off the blunt edge and there's some more on that side and it's all on this one plant. Uh, but I can't find the worm and of course I'm like trying to be careful because you don't want to touch them from what I understand they bite or sting or something I don't know I just know that you're not supposed to touch them and yeah so I'm trying to find it I'm looking on other plants to see if it's like moved on the problem is they're hard to see because they blend in with plants I'm a little creeped out by it. I don't want to see one, but I feel like that's probably from one. I did see a trick on Roots and Refuge where she took, went out at night with a black light flashlight and they glow. They glow in the dark, hornworms do. So maybe I will have to get one of those because I really don't even want to count, want to encounter one of those, <laughs> and uh, and not know. Whoop! Yeah, I almost fell. That it's there. So I'm gonna look a little bit more. I originally came out here to get some of the the uh, bolting basil because we have it kind of all over. I have it all in this uh, tomato bed. Aiden has a bunch in his. So, and I'm growing a whole lot up there um, in the herb garden area on the deck. So, I like to hang it upside down, let it dry like that. Like this right here, this is this is a lemon basil. This, this smells so good. Like you, oh my gosh. it's It smells like lemon and basil. It's very lemony. And I'm thinking, I mean, you can see it's flowering, well, and it's, it's bolting, and so I'm like, well, I can take that and hang that upside down. Some of it I do want to go to seed so I can save the seed. So I was actually going to ask Aiden if, how much lemon basil he actually has. So I know he pulled a bunch out before because it died. I don't know which kind it was. So, I mean, but I have, I have basil like all in here. Like look at the size of these leaves because I still have to harvest a lot of it. Look how big that is. Oh. That smells so good. Oh my goodness. So fragrant. I should get him out here. <laughs> Aiden would be like, oh my gosh, that's great. Mmm. All right, what I'm doing actually is I am pulling some of it, but I'm actually just kind of trimming it. So I'm not pulling out the whole plant. That smells so good. I'm just kind of taking off uh, a good four or five inches of it. And because if you do that anyway, when it's getting really long, um, it encourages the, the basil to, to produce more.
all this is. Yeah. Kind of going down to like this right here. Doing this to your tall basil will encourage that to grow oh. more. It'll produce more. Yeah. Don't you want um, the seeds to grow? Not on all of them. We don't need everything. Okay. And eventually it will. Right now it's just going to keep producing natural basil for us to use. Um, once you let it go to seed, it stops doing that. It's, it's, the plant is like, okay, I did what I had to do. Here's my seed so I can plant more next year. Yeah. So once you let it go to seed, it's not going to do anything else and produce anymore. So we want to produce as much as possible before you let it go to seed. Tomatoes, so I was like, what are these? And I was like, I'll get them. Try them, right? Guys, I didn't know Aiden was growing ground cherries. I wanted to try these. I was going to try to grow them. Ah! Something in my shoe. I was going to try to grow them next year. He already had them. <laughs> I didn't even know it. How did that happen? Yeah. They're on the ground and I'm looking at them like, that looks like a ground cherry. Oh my gosh, it's back. Had no idea. What? It's a, uh, it's a survivor. It's a... Uh... Oh, yeah. Is that a... Uh... Oh, what's it called? Dill? No, it's a... Uh... He's got a uh, volunteer fennel. fennel. fennel volunteer fennel. 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 I volunteer this where I planted the fennel. Oh, it never fails. I come out <laughs> to do one thing. Like I'll come out to get one thing and end up just harvesting a bunch. Whatever I can. And it's, it's pretty amazing, but kind of funny. Look at these crazies. We got three turkeys up here. One down there eating. I think I did pretty good tonight. Just coming out here for herbs. 